And Lori, over the last 28 minutes, I, I hope we've shared some ideas, some brain food, getting credit unions thinking. And that's really the purpose of these webinars is, you know, an outside perspective into credit unions and what should be keeping them up and what they should be focusing on. But uh, any kind of advice, you know, what's the, the most important thing credit unions should take away from today's conversation? Yeah, this is a this is a good one. I um I really enjoy this question, and like some of my team that may be on the line, y'all should just like put your put your earmuffs on now. Um, hold your vendors relentlessly accountable. Go find partners that are willing to partner with you for the greater good. The idea of a vendor selling you technology that you can't make work, that they don't support, that. Uh, they want to charge you extra money to help you implement and get set up. You, we have to get away from that. The credit union, your members, your team, they deserve better. Those partners that come to the table for us, they should be willing to grab the pitchfork and run into battle with you. That you should not spend the majority of your time fighting your partner to make things work the way it was supposed to work when they demoed the product to you. These two products that we have here are exponential um, because of the capabilities of the actual product itself. But that aside, the reason why I like Chris so much, and the reason why I'm willing to partner with him is because he's real cool. But other than that, his Savvy Money offers excellent support. If they didn't, my old credit union would not be a Savvy Money client because I'm a vendor's worst nightmare. I'm the one who forces you to make things work the way it should work. And we shouldn't have to do that, but we do. And so when you partner with somebody, I don't care if it's me or Chris's team or any other vendor out there, hold their feet to the fire. You deserve to get the product that you bought. There's no reason why hundreds of thousands of dollars should sit on a shelf in a dusty closet somewhere because you are so embarrassed that you can't make it work the way it's supposed to and you just don't want to talk about it anymore. But every single one of these credit unions that is on the line right now has a dusty closet somewhere with technology that didn't serve them the way it was supposed to. Find a vendor that loves you enough to do the right thing 